Masking inside of Camera Raw is incredibly powerful, but it can be confusing. Right now, I'm gonna clear all of that up. I'm gonna show you every single mode, including Intersect and how you can use it. So let's go into Camera Raw. Filter, Camera Raw. You could also get there from Bridge. So for those of you who don't know, the new masking panel's here, and it's identical to how it is in Lightroom. So we're gonna click on the mask and look at all the options. So we're gonna create a new mask. So select subject. This is pretty self-explanatory. That's how you select our subject. I'll show you just the quick basic ones first and then we'll get clever. So we click create new mask, select sky. So if you notice here, we are able to use the AI to select the subject. We can use one to select the sky. Okay, so what if I just want to select this foreground and I don't want our subject or the sky? This is how we do it. Grab the mask, you'll see we simply select the mask to choose which one we want. We've got the mask, then we go down to the element, which is sky. Click on the ellipse and we're going to invert. Now we have the foreground and our subject. We want to remove the subject, so we have add or subtract. Let's choose subtract. Select subject. Now we just have our foreground element selected. All right, so what would we use intersect for? Well, if we go into create new mask, let's create a gradient. Drag down with the gradient and we can apply a nice gradient to the sky. Now, here's the thing. I don't want the land in there and I don't want our person in here. I just want to create a smooth gradient in the sky. How do I do that? So if we click add, obviously it's going to add something to our mask. If we choose subtract, it's going to subtract from our mask. What we want to do is use intersect and intersect looks at the areas where there's overlap and it only shows the overlap. So let's do this. So why don't we click on the option? We're going to intersect this with select sky. And notice immediately it gets us what I what we want. And you can see how that works because we've selected the sky and the gradient. So only that area of overlap. So we get a much smoother blend into the horizon we would just by simply selecting the sky. Now to make the adjustments is super easy. We just click on the mask that we want us adjust. Maybe take our exposure down a little bit in the sky. Let's go to our next one where we've got our foreground. Maybe we'll lower the contrast in this a little bit. Grab our subject. Let's give it some punch, some contrast. There's our before and there's our after using advanced masking. And to see some of the basics of masking, check out my other tutorial where I do it in Lightroom, which is identical. I'll link you guys to it. So what do you think about the masking? Is it getting the boring stuff out of the way so you can get your work done or is it stealing your job? I'm curious about your thoughts in the comments. And by the way, if you're new, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. Consider hitting that subscribe button, turn on notifications, you won't miss any of my videos. And do me a favor, hit that like button. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.